For years I've been interested in dementia and the brain and music, like science-wise. Then using my skills which are making and designing, how can I use the scientific research to actually help people? If you take some research and uh, maybe pair it up with a designer, then you can actually make something that can affect people and change people's lives. I first saw the positive effects of music on people with dementia um, when my great gran uh, was in hospital and she couldn't remember who any of her family members were, but um, in her care home uh, she could play the piano and play about 50 songs, all the lyrics and sing along. Why does music have such an effect on people with dementia? And it's often the last thing that goes um, as dementia gets progressively worse. Music always stays there and the part of the brain that links the music, emotions and memories together, that's the least affected part of Alzheimer's. So that's the point of the brain which I'm targeting through the project. It's a multi-sensory reminiscence activity. The person you're trying to remember is not only an object, they're a song, they're a story in your life and it's all about communication as well because often people with dementia are quite difficult to communicate with but putting on a favourite piece of music suddenly starts all these different emotions and memories. So what does this song, why is it related <laughs> to a chicken? Um, because my father, when I was a child, had a wind-up gramophone and my father was very fond of, what's her name? Gracie Gra Fields. Gracie Fields, that's right. And my mother used to tease him about it. Do you think you'll regard it as a precious object? Well, the memory is precious, and, yeah. and to look at the chicken remind me of all this process that we've been through as well, which will be nice. Yeah. And um, and yes, of course, it'll remind me of that time. Yeah, I love those chickens. So this is the first version of the music memory box, and it's one person's box called Barbara, and each object relates to someone in her family, and each object sets off an individual piece of music. I'm developing on the residency a kit version. So for example, anyone that wants a music box, whether they're seven years old or 80 years old, should be able to, with their families, um, make a kit uh, about their most important memories, people and objects. The objects use RFID tags. They're used in Oyster cards around London. It just, there's a reader inside the box that picks up this individual number. So in the kit version, these will come as stickers so you can attach them to objects you already own or you can make new ones. I've been collaborating with Automatic and I've been talking to Katie in particular about how the project develops. I'm Associate Professor of Design at Falmouth University and I lead the Automatic Research Group exploring digital technologies and craft practices. Working alongside Chloe, she's incredibly dynamic and hardworking and she's really thrown herself into the work that she's doing in relation to health and well-being um, for dementia care. My role in supporting Chloe has been in discussing her, her um, design concept with her, introducing her to people who can um, help her with her project, in particular Arts for Health practitioners in Falmouth and um, getting her access to the workshops here so she can actually make some stuff. The new kit version includes a Raspberry Pi inside, that's how the whole system works and I've been having some technical difficulties with this because I only know basic programming. Tarim from Watershed, he's been helping me um, design a web interface and also um, explaining how all the different parts uh, connect together so I can have lots of different ways people can program the box themselves. Hi, I'm Taryn. I uh, work here at the Pervasive Media Studio. My background uh, is software. I've uh, been doing that for many years, so some embedded systems. Uh, what intrigued me about Chloe's project is a really uh, simple idea that uh, has a great potential to help dementia sufferers, and music's a really powerful way of doing that. You can make the whole burger, this whole burger. So I've been uh, looking at the technical implementation of the system, uh, writing the software for it, uh, and also looking at how it might be made into a, a production model. I've been looking at old radios from the 1950s for their visual aesthetics. I want the music memory box to look like a music player, because often people with dementia look into their earlier memories, so if it has certain grills or grates that promote the thought of it being a music player, this is what I want to achieve. 
instead of alienating people with dementia, I actually create an accessible product for everyone. It's for anyone that wants to reminisce uh, with their favourite objects and favourite music and develop it over their lifetime. Thank you.